What the heck? I have one problem. I don't like the way people are behaving like Tyler is not African. She's African. I mean, Afri where, is, where is the Africa to the world? Like, where is it? Why are you... You, got, you know what I mean. Come on. I, I also wanted David to win. But, like, no, let's not bring her down. Let's not... Let's not do that. What's what I was think pieces about the song Water by Tyler? Like... People on Twitter talking about, oh, this is like a bootleg Rihanna's work. This is like a, she looked like a bootleg Aaliyah. First of all, she looked like herself, and the song is good. Like, I say, the song is good. If you can't do the dance, just say that. But I, I had no idea that Tyla had so many haters. I, I did not know. This was news to me. So I made a video talking about her canceling her tour. And now I'm getting comments talking, people saying that she's an industry plant. First of all, people still don't know what an industry plant is. And it is so frustrating. There was a lot of those kind of comments, people saying that she's mid, she wasn't selling tickets. So her saying that she had an injury was just an excuse to cancel the tour. First off, if that was the case, she would not have canceled Coachella and the festivals that she was in because that has nothing to do with her selling tickets now, does it? Uh, but yeah, like I was just really surprised. When did she, when did she even get, have the time to get haters? She hasn't even been around that long. Um, I think Tyla is going to be a gigantic superstar. I'm sorry that she had to cancel her tour. I really thought this was going to be her year to just go to another level, but I hope she gets healthy and I hope she comes back with a vengeance because yeah, prove all these haters wrong. Like what, what are y'all doing? What, what Tyla ever do to y'all? the exoticals uniting in real life i keep hearing stories about exoticals you know embracing each other in real time in real life outside of the internet and i'm just so proud of our community and what we've accomplished and what we've able to build thanks to exoticals united we're able to build this community up because you know we can all relate we can all relate to the same things and you know there's nothing wrong with us having a, our own spaces at all. But, you know, we deal with hate in real life, so it's newer when it's on the internet, right? But, yeah, let's get into the video. I want to make this quick video about my girl, Tyla. She has been getting a lot of hate in, the, in these YouTube streets, in these internet streets. It's ridiculous. In these lipstick alley streets, y'all. I am on this thread on Lipstick Alley and they are talking about her and how she doesn't deserve a Grammy over this two minute water song. And so, and so before I dive into these Lipstick Alley comments, the hypocrisy, I'm gonna give some background on who Tyla is. So Tyla Laura Cethel, known as Known, prof known professionally as Tyla, is a South African singer, songwriter, and dancer from Johannesburg. She signed to Epic Records in 2021 after the domestic success of her debut album, Getting Late, featuring Cool Drink. Tyla rose to international stardom with her 2023 single, Water which gained popularity on TikTok following a viral dance challenge. Tyla is the youngest African artist to win a Grammy Award and has also earned nominations for a Brit Award, a Soul Train Award, a Mobile Award, and two South African Music Awards. She has been dubbed the Queen of Popiano, Popiano? I hope I'm saying that right. A fusion of the pop and Emma piano genre so some facts about her in her early life she was born on january 30th 2022 in Ed Ed edinsville east rand east rand two parents they are her family is considered color with a mixture of indian zulu mar martin and irish ancestry i hope i said martin right so Tyla attended Egg Glen High School 
in 2019, having been the school's head of culture of that year. And while she was at school, she began posting some songs and covers to her Instagram account, as well as sending them out to a number of figures in the music industry. She was subsequently discovered by her first manager. She was discovered by her first manager, Garth Von Glenn, who then organized her first record sessions, who then organized her first recording sessions. Tyler states that she would go into the re recording studio every weekend during her final year of high school. And so as I stated earlier in 2019, after she finished high school, she released her first single called Getting Late, which featured Cold Drink, and um, it received a lot of su success. Um, it was filmed by her manager. It was dur during COVID and every during the lockdowns and everything. The, the, the music video was released in on January 2021. It reached several million views on YouTube and was nominated for South, Af Af South African Music Award for Best Music Video of the Year. One thing about Tyler, she had begun studying towards her degree in mining, in mining engineering. But her parents let her take a year off of school to fulfill her music career and to get that started off the ground and that's when she signed with epic records and this was in may of 2021 and the, and her being signed followed up with singles overdue and to last in november 2022 and then when tyla's first so tyla's first public performance occurred in 2023 during the dulce and gabbana after party at Milan Fashion Week following the release of her single Been Thinking which earned Tyler her first chart placement of her career on the Billboard mainstream R&B hip hop airplay and rhythm, rhythmic airplay charts. Tyler joined Chris Brown as an opening act under his Under the Influence tour in May 2023. She released the single Girl Next Door featuring Nigerian singer Ira Starr. She also later released the song Water in July 2023 as the lead single from her upcoming self-titled de debut album. After spawning a viral dance challenge on social media, on TikTok, the song became a top 10 hit in the United States, the United Kingdom, and Australia, among several other countries. It also made Tyler the youngest ever South African and the first South African soloist in 55 years to enter the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 following Hugh Masekela's Grazing in the Grass in 1968. Hmm, interesting. So Tyler performed Water Live on the Bianca Show in Sweden on, and The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon in the United States. So Tyler's been doing her thing, y'all, since she's she's been... She's been working at this since she was in school. Um, she has pretty much promoted herself and put herself out there. So people keep calling her an industry plant. She's just marketable for one thing. We can all agree that she's marketable to our audience. It's, I mean, for crying out loud, her blood, she has three different, what does she mix with? Indian, Irish, and black, and what else like she has so many different mix ad mixtures and her phenotype she can literally like she can easily slide into different spaces and that's just marketing that's just you know that's just marketing she can attract an audience of the african-american community as well as the white community as well as people that look like her like you know what i mean so like all this unnecessary hate just doesn't make any like other than jealousy like this girl she has a sweet personality she, she reminds me a lot of my personality honestly and she's pretty i mean that's pretty privileged for you right there like and tyler's on a humongous scale with it she's international and she got international hate imagine being a, an exotical a pretty exotical and on an international level with talent and a bubbly personality and goofy 
and people like her and she just has this aura the hate is unbelievable on a small scale y'all so y'all can imagine the like let me just get into some of these lipstick alley threads real quick so i'm on lipstick alley and i'm just looking at these threads and as y'all can see the first one as soon as i type in tyla like it's in the search engine this is the first one i see y'all are jealous of tyla so a, a lot of people are apparently jealous of tyla so and she says the fact that tyla is so hated on this site is proof y'all are jealous she hasn't done anything except for being pretty and being racially mixed true unambiguous black women really seem to have beef with biracial women most of the comments i see also relate to black men why do you guys care so much if tyla attracts them pure jealousy because she is attractive rich and y'all aren't showing your inferiority complexes so yeah this apparently they be talking y'all they and i have seen it with my own eyes they are talking trash about her on this website Tyler didn't deserve the Grammy over that two minute water song. I already said that. Uh oh. Exotical tax. Exotical's United's name came up under the Tyler thread. Let me read this one. It says, I'm famous, y'all. I made it into a YouTube video. Exotical's United, y'all. She's mad. I said Rihanna slayed that short hair cut better than Tyler did she has a fixation on black women as an exotical and wants nothing but admiration adoration and admiration from us it's psychological issues that cannot be helped with the with even the best of met oh lord exotical tax anyways just the hate is the hate is so real over it. with us like what is it what is the hate all about y'all can't just let us have our own spaces at all now there's no one's jealous of tyla now he's never heard of her her song is on every radio station on every i hear her song all everywhere i go in the stores like i'm pretty sure you've heard of her at least exactly they mad because they see her now and she's what they prefer lipstick alley is very jealous of tyla and i'm let me go back to one second let me go back here I think this is the one Exoticals United did <laughs> with the magazine. Like, they was really mad. Like, models are props. Like, exactly. Models are props. So, I don't know what they were talking about. Like, it's just insanity. Like, like Exoticals United said, like, she didn't know about she's a Tyler fan. I'm a tiger too. But and we didn't know about this photo shoot. Like, so what was going on? Like, they pressed over here. Tyler's still number one this week. Is that a good thing? Of course it is. That's a great thing. She's winning. Exotical tax. Hold on. So she got some fans on here. That's a good thing. Yeah, this girl, she's very talented. Like, so it's like, you know, when you're doing something, you know you're doing something right when you have a lot of haters. Let's talk about the nose of the beautiful Tyla. Tyla has a gorgeous nose, deep inset radix, a relatively smooth dorsum with sleek symmetric dorsal aesthetic lines, a beautifully slim mid nasal vault. That is for sure. And exoticals are just, it's like it comes with the territory. It's just, you're automatically gonna just have haters. Like, 
I don't care how kind and sweet you are. People just have a reason not to like you for no for nothing, literally nothing. It's insane. But what do you ladies think? Are you guys tigers? Are you a tiger fan? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for listening.